The cost of healthcare is one of the biggest issues in the United States. Millions all over the country are affected by this on a daily basis. The United States is one of the most developed countries in the world, and yet as a country, we spend the most healthcare, 16.9% of the GDP, and have the worst health outcomes than any other developed country. People all over the country struggle to pay for their health care and even avoid going to the hospitals or going to see their doctors at all costs. This causes sickness and lower quality of health, especially for lower income individuals. Prices of labor and goods such as pharmaceutical companies, devices, and administrative costs are the main reasons for the high costs here in the United States. Hi, my name is Declan Doyle and I'm a sophomore at Michigan State University. When I go to the doctor, the price definitely affects whether or not I'm going to go. If it's something more severe, um, then yes, the price doesn't really matter because then I'm going to just take, get it taken care of. But if it's something cheaper, yeah, I'd probably avoid going to the doctor. Um, even though my parents are paying for most of my things, um, I'd still try to avoid it if I can. Um, so I definitely think that both of them should adjust. Um, I think that the hospitals are definitely overpricing things, but I also think that the government, sh that is their position to help out, I think that's also good. So at the start of COVID, I wasn't sure if my insurance would cover me getting tested. So I was really pushing off getting tested at the start. Me and my brother both were like, well, we're not sure if we should go get tested because it might cost a ton of money. And so we had to talk to our parents, but it definitely delayed us getting tested. Hi, my name is Kelly Jamgard and I am a nurse. I have been working in healthcare for over 29 years. 23 of those years I've been working as a nurse practitioner. Um, I do feel like the United States healthcare costs are too high. Um, I feel like the U.S. Um, is the most inefficient, most expensive, most unfair um, healthcare system in the world. Um, compared to any other developed country, and we do not have the best outcomes um, by spending all that money. In my opinion, uh, lowering healthcare costs is not just dependent on the government or healthcare systems, it is a multifactorial approach. Um, if the governments had more oversight of the healthcare systems, this would help healthcare systems decrease their costs by improving their inefficiencies. If um, we had one to five different types of insurances that um, patients had to choose from, then there would be less need for overhead for people um, to find out you know, how much the prices are for certain procedures. Um, and insurance companies right now are for profit, and that is a complete conflict um, of interest because they're deciding whether or not they're going to spend their money on patients' lives or if they're going to give the money for profit to their investors. Um, the insurance companies um, should certainly not be a for-profit industry, and this also would help um, keep healthcare costs down. Um, in the U.S., you know, we have the philosophy that um, all people are created equal, um, but I would venture to say that this is only until we get sick. Um, do we take care of each other because this is the right thing to do? Um, in other words, it's a basic human right, kind of like voting, um, the right to vote. Everybody gets a chance to vote. Um, or is healthcare like a yacht that you only... Um, get to have a yacht if you have the money to pay for it. I feel like the healthcare systems could um, decrease their prices um, by starting to work on the inefficiencies that exist. There are multiple forms, multiple rules, 
multiple um, hoops to jump through in our healthcare system. And if we had some governmental support for this or a more of a streamlined process, this would decrease our healthcare costs. Um, for an example of this is in Canada, you might have two people that work as billers to bill insurance companies. In the US, you have a healthcare system that has over 200 people working as billers um, to bill the insurances and the patients.